for a matchup between the home side, Gaziantep, hosting the visitors from Latvia, Ventspils. As I said, this is a matchup in Group B. Currently, the two teams come in with a record of two wins and two losses in the Group B of the Basketball Champions League. Ventspils, though, thanks to point differential, is in fourth, while Gaziantep is right behind them in fifth. So both of these teams try to establish a winning record here today. Fans still getting into their seats. This is the first uh, game, as you see today's action. Last night, Neptunus took care of uh, business with a 30-point win. And then two other matchups in Group B taking place tonight with Tenerife and Pauk, as well as uh, Livetsburg and Chalon. It should be a very interesting matchup. Obviously, uh, Ben Spills made their presence felt early on in the tournament with a big win over the defending champions, Tenerife, in the first game. As you take a look at the standings there, uh, Gessentep in sixth, Ben Spills in fourth. So Ben Spills got off to a big win. They've won two games at home by a total of two points, two one-point victories against Ten Tenerife and Chalon, and have lost their games just by uh, seven to Neptunus and 12 to Ludwigsburg. Meanwhile, Gazintep got off to a bright start, two big wins early on but on, uh, by a total of uh, eight points, then lost their last two by 13, and then 41 to Neptunus Kapalina last week. So looking to bounce back and get back on the right ship. Uh, we'll take a look at the Ventsville's, the visitors, rosters particularly pay attention to their leader Iger Skele a uh, Latvian point guard plays for the national team had a great Euro basket as well keep your eyes out for Blake Hamilton he's their athlete the energy guy and uh, Yusikas as well one of their scorers inside and out as we take a look at some of the Gaziantep players getting warmed up a lot of Americans on this Gaziantep side uh, some names like Mark Lyons you might recognize from the NCAA ranks DJ White had his time in the NBA after coming out of Indiana but Vic Rudd and Sean Arman are the two guys that really get this team going. You see them at the top of the roster here. Sean Arman coming in and averaging 15 and a half points per game. Uh, Vic Rudd just over 11 with seven rebounds. And both of those guys are also able to knock down the outside shot. The Mark Lyons is the point guard. He does lead the way. Tough point guard as well. Played at both the Xavier and Arizona. So Coach Stefanos did ask his team for guys in tip. You know, there's a lot of athletes on this side. They like to fast break. They do have that advantage coming in uh, in terms of the stat differential with Vince Bills. Averaging just over 78 points per game. Shooting about 38% from three. But uh, after those two consecutive losses, we'll see if they're able to bring the energy here tonight as we'll take a listen in here to the player introductions. So one thing we've seen throughout the Basketball Champions League season so far is it's not going to take just one or two players. Usually you need about three primary scorers to really, really make a difference in the games. Uh, Gazintep does have that in Mark Lyons, DJ White, Vic Rudd, Sean Armand, all guys averaging double figures. And you can't forget about Balazic as well. 
Uh, so five guys in double figures. Meanwhile, for bench bills, they count a lot on Skelly. He's their leading scorer. He's their go-to guy. Also coming in, averaging six rebounds and five assists, shooting 62% from three. Uh, so he's really been having a productive season so far. But who's going to be the other guys? Are they going to be able to count on Yusikas, who comes in with 10 points per game? And then the rest of the guys are around nine points. So who's going to be that third scorer for bench bills on the road will likely be the important factor. Uh, meanwhile, for the home side is obviously a, it's a very, very big arena. And you can see a lot of empty seats so far. Still a few moments to go before tip-off, but can they bring the energy in this early game? Most games in Turkey tip off a little bit later, so we got to make sure that they bring that activity, that enthusiasm, right from the onset. The players have to be able to do that for Coach Didas. It's interesting. Bench Bills comes in. Uh, obviously, they both have the same record, but. They're at 73 points per game. Free throw shooting has been a huge key for them as they shoot 84% from the foul line and then 34% from three. So that will be uh, something to look for. Can bench bills get on the free throw line? Can they cause some foul trouble for these athletes that the Turkish team has? We know they want to run. And it's Coach uh, Stelmeyers as we take a look at the referees for today's game, Pulto Vicente, Gurion Neres, and Mr. Goran from Austria, and while the two others from Israel and Spain. Blake Hamilton, one of the top athletes in the Basketball Champions League, definitely the best athlete on the Bench Bills team, comes in at about nine and a half points per game, six rebounds. They also count on him for skills and blocks. If you take a look at the starting five, it will be Blake Hamilton alongside Emmanuel Ubila, Schele, Gulbis, and Yusikas will be the five men in charge of getting this team off to a bright start. And you see their coach, Robert Stelmars, the head coach for Vench Bills. Meanwhile, over for Gaziantep, they play a lot of minutes for the uh, those, those American guys that we talked about. You imagine Mark Lyons to be in the starting five alongside uh, Sean Armand, Vic Rudd, DJ White, and you see Oran Asieva Asieva getting the start there at the power forward spot. But it's also notable to consider Sean Williams, the Boston College one-time New Jersey net, coming off the bench, averages about 12 minutes a game for Coach Dedes. Stefan Ostedas, that is. And Sean Williams has always been an athlete with a lot of size, long arms, can, can block shots. So when he comes in, look for him to be active. So we are just a minute away from the opening tip. It is day two of game day five. Last night saw some thrilling games, particularly, well, all the groups really, but uh, in Group B, the Neptunas with a 30-point dominant performance over Capo de Orlando. And again, Neptunas, it's back-to-back -back weeks now. Last week, obviously, they beat this Gaziantep team by 41, then uh, winning by 30 last night. So a lot of momentum, a lot of things going well over for Neptunas. And... Don't forget, later on today, we will have Pauk Tenerife in Group B action, as well as Chalon and Louvitzburg. So t you always want to make sure you pay attention to what's going on in the groups. See Mark Lyons there shaking the referee's hands. Asieva will be in charge of the opening tip against Gulbis, number 22.
And we're up. And we are live here in Gaziantep in blue. Sorry, bench pieces in blue, Gaziantep in home team in white. And here's Blake Hamilton looking to initiate the first offensive play. Scaling now, nice little hesitation move, gets it to lane, block shot right away. Hasieva making his presence felt defensively. See the nice little drive by Scala. Took the bump and she gets swatted out of bounds. Strong screen there as well from Usikas. Hamilton with two seconds on the shot clock. Step back is good for the first two points of the night. Blake Hamilton with a tough jumper. DJ White, number three, looking for Vic Rudd. DJ White catch and shoot. He hits his first shot. Showcasing a little bit of touch there in the mid-range. Ubila, number 13 for Vince Bills. Looking to get the ball inside to Usikas. Little drop step baseline. Can't finish. Good defense there from DJ White. And Rudd will walk it up the court. Here's Armand, a little two-man game action with White. Drives baseline, the nice kick out over to Rudd. Pump fake, takes the three, knocks it down. A bright spot here for Gazantep. Back-to-back baskets. The pull up for Ubila, and he hits it. So both teams coming out on fire so far. Five early points on a couple possessions. There's Lions able to make him fall. Oh, the no-look pass gets turned over. That could have been a highlight. There's Ubila again using the screen from Usikas. Kicks it over, and the three-point shot is up and good for Gulbis. And what a start here for the road team. So back and forth we go. Is Sean Armand again. Oh, look. Throws a bit of a sloppy pass to the corner. Rudd couldn't really handle the catch. So eight to five game after just two and a half minutes. Could be a high scoring affair. Yusikos has it inside now, takes his time on the block. Couple dribbles to the middle. Little jump hook blocked by DJ White. He's always been a premier shot blocker. And Rudd, fortunate to get it over to Hasieva, but he can't really control it and it falls out of bounds. You see the frustration there. Rudd, after the deflection from Hamilton, just couldn't really handle the rock. A little pick and pop between Gulbis and Ubila. And Gulbis couldn't finish. Here's Sean Armand. Free throw pull up is good. Smart transition play there from Armand. Ubila. Finds the pass inside to Yusikas, and it's going to be a foul there on Mark Lyons on the reach. So good patience offensively from Ubida. You see Mark Lyons there, the left arm just getting tangled. And Schele catch and shoot three. Knocks it in off the inbounds. Great execution for Ventspils. And they've now hit three three-pointers out of the first four field goals. Nice drive by Armin, takes the bump, and good defense from Usikas. First altered the shot, then got the block. 
And again, they get the ball inside. They got a mismatch here. A big man on the guard, and it's a spin move dunk from Yusikas. Just punishing Rudd on the block. Here comes Lyons, a little spin cycle. Oh, put him in the washer. Great move from Mark Lyons, the scoring point guard, showing you the handle. Ubila using the screen multiple times, kicks it out, Shkela another three, can't hit it this time. The fight for the rebound ends up back in Shkela's hands. Shot clock reset to 14. Ubila wants the screen, top of the key. You have to post it up, it's Shkela, and he can't hit as the shot clock expires. So Gazintep fortunate to come up with a stop there after giving up a second chance opportunity. And here's a nice little pick and roll, but White can't finish at the hoop. Ubia, you see him finding all he's looking for. Yusikas couldn't really get the ball to him, though. Right idea, just poorly executed. You see there the nice spin and dunk, as well as the catch and, uh, catch and shoot for Skele. And of course, the spin move from Mark Lyons, nasty. So 13 to nine after just five minutes in that first quarter as Ronald Zakis checks in for the first time. Vence builds a team that's been undefeated in the Latvian League domestically, taking care of business at home, winning by wide margins most of the time. So as DJ White takes that three, you know, the biggest games of the year for Vence Bills are gonna be in the Basketball Champions League where they are two and two so far. 1-1 one, one, lost one, 1-1 one, one, lost one. Looking for the win tonight and have got to a bright start is Blake Hamilton. Gonna get two free throws, Armand can't believe it. Nice strong drive, took the bump. We'll see the contact right there. Nothing too sub substantial. Nonetheless, it's gonna be two free throws for Blake Hamilton. Knocks down the first. And he gets a second down as well. Hamilton, just 23 years old, a 6'6 shooting guard. And the near steal in the backcourt, Lyons able to secure it. Rudd decides to pull it back out and isolates against Hamilton. Little jump hook is too strong. Went over the rim. Doesn't want to pick up a foul here. Schele, nice pass over to Gulbis. And then pulls out for three and knocks it in. This is going to lead to a timeout as Gulbis showing you that confidence. Able to step back. A little bit of confusion on who's going to pick up the man. And the lefty just pulls up for three. So 18 to 9 as we get our first timeout. And we'll listen into the huddles as well as give you some stats. You see there the field goals. Both teams shooting 50% overall. The difference is that Ventspils has already hit four of six three-pointers. They've also taken four more shots thanks to the turnovers and a couple offensive rebounds. We're seeing a couple highlights of the early parts of the game. Blake Hamilton with the first field goal. The guard out of Buffalo. The Buffalo Bull, upstate New York. Getting his first taste of professional basketball and it's, it's been a bright start for him so far. Obviously a lot of wins over in Latvia and then being one of the starting and role well, contributing players for this basketball Champions League side as well.
So you see a little backcourt pressure here from Vince Bills. And they draw back into a man-to-man. -man. Also, Mike Brusevitz in the game for the first time, number 31 with a headband in blue. You see Rudd wide open in the corner. Can't hit it after a good skip pass from Lions. Second chance opportunity, and Armin converts. Calmly sinks the three at the top of the key. Also in the game is Jakovic. Number seven for Vince Bills. Here's Skele looking to throw, his, throw it up. There's going to be two free throws, although I don't think he was going for the shot. He's definitely looking to pass there. Referees will talk about it. So it will be a side out. You see the coach there, Stefanos Dedas, urging his team to wake up. Good defense from DJ White. But that foul was not in the act of shooting by Chinko, number 51. Oh, good defense from Chinko, putting the ball pressure. And Ubilas to take a long three, hits the front of the rim. Good box out there from White. Rudd collects the rebound. Lyons turns the corner, lobs it up to White. Takes his time, turns and scores. So good activity from DJ White on both ends of the floor. Here's Jakovic with a screen from Zakis. Leaves his feet. Always dangerous to jump pass. And the Lions look to spin into a little bit of trouble, but the whistle was blown. I believe a foul was called on Vince Bills. You see there the reach by Jakovic. Good hustle again from White. He's playing hard out there. Lions. Wants that foul. And he pulls up for three. A little strong on that one. Gazintep still down four. Two minutes to go in the first quarter. Ubila taking his time. A little pick and roll. Easy basket from Zakis. No help side defense that time from Gazintep. They definitely need to pick up the defensive intensity as the lob, the near lob occurred between Lions and Rudd. Couldn't really handle it. And it's going to be a turnover as Rudd checks out of the game. The first time we're going to see Bala, uh, Balazic That could have been a highlight. Rudd a high flyer for sure. There's Ubiya again. Crossing over left to right. They want to get the ball inside. It's Yusikis who draws a foul on Balazic. And Nure Balazic, Croatian averaging 12 and a half points per game. Oh, no, con no foul there. A lot of contact from Chinko. Bench Bills holds on to the possession, though. Again, Ubi, I've shown you the handles. Some good help side defense. Oh, the split as the shot clock expires. Tough shot there from Yusikas, but he's able to finish. And what a start for him. As a three-point shot is up and good. DJ White showing you the range.
Former McDonald's All-American. And again, you see gets a quick move, but good help side defense from Armand. Who's now going to bring the ball up. Again, pick and pop. Will be a Reddit. Went for the steal. And there's going to be a hand check foul. Just the second one of the quarter on Yusika's second team foul, that is. So still two more fouls to give before any free throws. And obviously, with time running out, I'm sure Vince Bill's not too concerned about that. There's Chinko. Gets into the lane, kicks it out. Balazic for three, can't hit it. Two seconds on the game clock. Ubila from half court. Oh, just a little wide right. Nonetheless, it's been a great first quarter for the visitors from Latvia. Vince Bills with a five-point lead after 10 minutes. And they've been able to execute offensively, getting, getting a lot of easy looks. So you see the candid communication there between player and coach. After the first quarter, Vince Bills 22, guys in tip 17. We'll give you some of the stats of that first quarter. As Vince Bills shooting 47% overall, but again, they hit four three point shots, which has been a considerable difference. Just two or two from the free throw line. Gazintep not playing poorly by any stretch. 17 points is solid, but defensively, just allowing too many easy open threes as well as easy looks at the basket on simple pick and roll. DJ White already with seven points, a couple of rebounds. You see there his first shot of the night. Also hit a three. Meanwhile, Gulbis for Vince Bills already with six points. He leads the way. They've gotten some nice baskets from Usikas as well as Blake Hamilton's four points. And Sean Armand, who comes in as the leading scorer for the guys in Tep team, 15 and a half points per game. Puts up about five threes per night, knocking down almost two of them. And three rebounds, three assists. So he, we consider him the go-to guy, but it's been a little quiet so far, just a couple of points. As the second quarter is about to get underway. So guys in Temple get the first possession of the second quarter. Down five. Here's Chinko, catch and shoot three. Bounces in and out. Rebound for Zakis. And he just throws it out of bounds. So the backcourt pressure by Ut. Jan Ur Ut, number 44. You see the denial there. Zakis kind of rushed his pass to Skele, and it just sails out of bounds. Three, the shot is no good, and the rebound is collected by number nine, Lomash. He's checked in for the first time. And here's Lomash on the other end. His shot no good, but the ball's kept alive by Zakis. Chinko. And DJ White left wide open. He breaks it, but there's going to be a foul as Chinko was fighting for position on the rebound. Fouls on go and Schele. Chinko gets the inbounds pass. 
Also checking in Freemanis for the first time, number 24 for Gaston Tepe, who has it now and can't finish off the glass. And Shkele looking to get into the lane. Oh, good defense from Armand. Looking to push the tempo, take it all the way to the rim, and no, he can't finish. And again, another opportunity wasted for Gaziantep. Here comes Hamilton now. He takes the bump and gets the and one basket. Blake Hamilton, aggressive in transition, able to get the two and the harm. You see here is Utz. Seemed to be in position, but kind of turned his body ever so slightly. Didn't take the contact head on. And that's why he gets called for the blocking foul. So a four potential five-point swing is doesn't have had a layup, missed it, couldn't get the tip in, and now Blake Hamilton converts the three-point play on the other end, pushing the lead out to seven. Eight, sorry. And a soft foul on the perimeter is Hamilton couldn't stay in front of Armand that time. So first team foul in the second quarter. You see Hamilton turns his head just a little bit and Armand attacks. There's Chinko. And Oot catch and shoot three. He can't hit it. So Gazantep has gone cold. Armand wants to do something about it. He can't hit the three either. Zaki is now on the block, taking his time, backing it down, draws the foul, throws the ball over the backboard, but he'll get a chance for two free throws as Fremontis giving up a little bit of size and weight here on Zakis. Kind of bullies his way to the free throw line. So Lions checks back into the game for Armand. Zakis converts a free throw. And he'll come back out as Yusikas checks back into the game. Here's Ut now looking for Freemanis. And Mark Lyons, nice little crossover. Freemanis, the long three, finally it knocks it in. So he's showing you why he's out there. The catch and shoot three. And a nice tip in from Blake Hamilton. His lines failed to box him out. So Hamilton scoring in many different ways already. We saw the step back jumper. Saw the transition layup and now gets the tip on the offensive rebound. It's a turnover. Good defense from bench bills. Here comes Hamilton again. No one picks him up. And he doesn't hit the jumper. The ball is going to go back over to Gaziantep. As you see, it could have gone either way, to be honest with you. But they reward the defense. Nice drive, no foul called. And Chinko does commit the foul in the backcourt to slow down the fast break. As Balazic can finish the basket in the last attempt. You see here, oh, nice block from Schele. And that's why we say he does a little bit of everything. Definitely the catalyst for this team. Obviously comes off the bench in the Latvia national team of the Eurobasket behind Darius Bertans. Latvia getting all the way to the quarterfinal. So a lot of pride in that country right now in terms of basketball. And Vince Bills definitely playing like it. And there's Ubila this time. Can hit it. But Yusikas, the strong rebound. He can't get the put back. 
They do come in with the rebounding advantage. Gazantep more perimeter oriented. Here's Lyons, open three, again back rim. A lot of long rebounds ending up in the hands of Ventspils. And it's a turnover. It's a three on two opportunity. It's gonna be Oot for three. He's a little strong again. And as Fremontis went for the offensive rebound, Yusikas knocks it out of bounds. But Vence built already with six offensive rebounds to do three for Gazintep, and they have a plus seven advantage overall in total rebounds as we get a timeout on the floor now. So Vence Bill still enjoying an eight point lead. Definitely still a long way to go. So we'll listen in here on Coach Demars. You see the statistics from both teams cooling off, especially inside the arc. They were at 50% of the first quarter, now just around the mid-30s. This is DJ, and this is a Premanis, okay? Make screen away for Arman. Okay, get the ball on top. Let's talk about the rebounding advantage. So it's plus six now after this last shot that just went up. See our man Vic Rudd there on the left. Played uh, the Arizona State as well as University of South Florida and Tampa for college basketball. As Fremontis hit the big three-point shot. That was necessary. It's their only three points of the second quarter so far. We've played over four and a half minutes. So meanwhile, Blake Hamilton showing you the versatility. He's got nine points already to go with his two rebounds. And Gazantep yet to attempt a free throw. And we've played almost 15 minutes of basketball. So, again, we talked about the perimeter orientation, but they definitely need to attack the basket and be a bit more aggressive offensively. Just like that, Armand can't get the finish or the call. Here's Ubila, finds the open man. Tough catch, and he fends back to Ubila. He can't finish. So both teams missing more shots than they're making in this second quarter. Here's Ruddy, thought about it. Decides to drive, gets the bump from Hamilton, and those will be free throws to come. So Rudd looking to get to the basket, takes a little bump. Good defense from Hamilton, actually. There was contact, but block was clean. And Rudd knocks down his first free throw of the night. See conversations taking place. So a little bit of extracurricular activity. And run knocked down both free throws. You see a little bit of pressure now in the backcourt to pick up the tempo. Again, Gazantep has the speed. Oh, the dunk is missed by Zakis. He blew it. So again, just six to five in the second quarter so far. Oh, nice pass. The no look from Armand with the left. And here comes Gazintep now. Just down four. To the highlight play from Armand. Here's Ubila, takes the three. Nice shot from Emmanuel Ubila. 
And there seems to be a cheap shot here. The cameras can get there. DJ White. Kind of fell quickly and hard and unsportsmanlike as it looked like Zakis seems to have given a low blow to White. You can see he's visibly frustrated. So the referees definitely need to take control of the game. We'll see right here. Zakis makes contact with the DJ White's lower region. And you can see he's not happy about it. Luckily, Vic Rudd able to restrain him. He definitely wanted anything to get out of hand, so DJ White will get two free throws because of the unsportsmanlike foul. And Gaston Tepo will also maintain possession. So White can't hit the first. But he knocks down the second. So hopefully cooler heads prevail. The guys can just play some basketball. Zakis with the kind of definitely looked like a cheap shot. So he'll come out of the game. Hear the referees telling everybody to relax. Basketball Champions League is definitely intense. Every game matters. You only get 14 regular season games. Here's Lions. Drive and finish. Strong move there for Mark Lyons. You can see the momentum starting to shift a little bit in Gazintep's favor. Here's Ubila. Takes a tough shot at the bump. He's going to get two, foul, uh, two free throws. He kind of initiated the contact. It's going to go in Armand. So he calmly sinks the first. As Bruzovic comes back into the game, he's been quiet so far, hasn't got many touches. And two free throws are good for Ubila. Puerto Rican slash American point guard. Here's Armand. Catch and shoot for Lions. Again, a little bit too short. Oh, catch and shoot three. That time it's no good. As Skelly made a nice pass over to Yakovic. Oh, nice hesitation, Armand. May I couldn't make the pass over Skelly. Makes another good defensive play. He's had a block already. See the steal that time. And Ubiya, who's so good in the pick and roll. Playing inside out. Brusevitz with the drive, kicks it over. Good ball movement this time from Ventspils. And of course, it ends up in a three-point shot with the foul. Great offensive execution. And Jakovic able to hit the three and the chance with a four-point play. Watch this beautiful offense. The ball just moves around from one side to the other. And off the closeout. Foul's going to go on Freemanis. As Balazic comes back into the game as well to replace Freemanis, who... Obviously, he doesn't feel too good about committing the foul on a shooter. And it was a four-point game, but stays at nine as he can't complete the four-point play. So the Vench Bills had a chance to go to double-figure lead right before the half. We'll see if Gazintep can respond. Oh, nice little hezzy from Oots. 
Kicks it out to Vic Rudd for three. Short, but he gets his own rebound, attacks the basket, and gets the and one hoop. Great move there from Vic Rudd, not to be denied. Stay with his shot, followed his own miss. Attack the big man inside, takes the bump. And the foul on Usikas. Gives Vic Rudd a chance at a three-point play. But he can't finish either, but a good offensive rebound and a chance now to make this a four or five point possession. Here's Rudd, shot clock winding down, gets it to the lane, takes off for the dunk. Oh my goodness, Vic Rudd. Four point possession for him. You see the crossover, then takes off, throws it down with authority. What a play from Vic Rudd. Get out of my way. No one daring to jump with him that time. We talked about the athleticism on this guys in tip team. It's been on display here the last couple of minutes. And Vince Bills called a smart timeout as the lead dwindles down to five. They will put pressure here. Here is one player. Here is two players. We are in bonus, in open. If we can transition, try to play some midget with the short gun. And if nothing, try to kick big to attack Lozao, so big can also kick. Midget, watch big, fake dribble drive, okay? Are you two big guys, two more minutes? Are you two big guys, two So we'll see a couple of the highlights here from the second quarter. Some, some great plays, some nice highlight plays from Gaziantep especially. And again, the backcourt pressure. It's Oot showing a lot of defensive energy. Oh, but he able to get away. So Jakovic got an easy look in the middle of the lane, couldn't finish. Oh, nice hesitation, Mark Lines. Some good ball movement, Vic Rudd, top of the key three, in and out. That would have been a big shot for Gazintep. Here comes Skellen now looking to attack. Gets all the way to the hoop and finishes. Good move for him. Only his fifth point of the night. Step back, Mark Lyons. So many shots going in and out as Skellen couldn't squeeze the rebound. See, just off the fingertips. Here's Rudd now. Lions, a little two-man action with White. No foul call. Rusevitz, good defense. And they're looking to run. Never mind. Lomash pulls it back out. Want to use the shot clock. You see the, there's about three more seconds on the game clock than the shot clock. So they'll look to wind this down near the end. Skellip steps it up for three. He gets in and out. How many times have we seen that as Rudd almost turns it over? Mark Lyons has to hoist one up. Can't connect at the buzzer. And at the end of the first half, it's Ventspils with a seven-point lead over Gazintep. We've seen a lot of intense basketball here so far. Both teams struggling. A little bit from the, sh the perimeter. Gazintep just four of 17 from threes. You see the seven point lead for Bench Bills at the half. We'll take a look at a few stats. Bench Bills 13 of 33 overall. Gazintep 12 for 35. 
So the shooting, where Vance Bills doing a lot of damage from three, they're struggling inside the arc. Rebounding numbers about the same. Assists as well. Both teams getting a few steals and transition opportunities. Neither team getting too many free throws. Vance Bills with six out of eight, while Gaziantep is three of five. We know that uh, Vic Rudd and DJ White contributed 17 points together. Meanwhile, for bench bills, Blake Hamilton leads the way with nine. And at halftime, again, it's a seven-point lead. You take a look there. Rudd already with nine rebounds as well. Unbelievable. So it almost has a double-double after the first 20 minutes. And both teams getting some steals, as we mentioned. Lions playing some good defense. Needs to take care of the ball a little bit better. You see there the top score. So we'll leave you with some highlights. Make sure you don't go too far away as we'll be back in live for the second half in just over 13 minutes. Gazantep looking to bounce back with the second uh, half performance to get this win.
So we are just moments away from the second half here on game day five in Gaziantep, Turkey, as the visitors from Ventspils in Latvia have a 38 to 31 lead on the host Gaziantep here in Turkey, as we mentioned. An interesting half of basketball. A little bit of back and forth, some feistiness, definitely some highlights. Bench Bills coming out, knocking down a few threes in that first 20 minute action. Six in total, six of 12. Meanwhile, Gazetep struggling a little bit, 4 of 17 from beyond the arc. A lot of the other numbers are similar. Uh, we definitely can say that Gaziantep had a much better end to the second quarter than a start to it. But they still find themselves trailing despite some highlight plays from Vic Rudd, Sean Armon, and DJ White. On the Vengeville side, we know that Schella is going to be their kind of leader throughout. But Blake Hamilton, the young guy, nine points, two rebounds. They also got contributions off the bench from... Uh, Gulbis, who had six points, sorry, Gulbis started, but Gulbis had six points. Zakis gave them three points. And then uh, Ubila, the starting point guard with eight points, just two of seven shooting, but two of his, both of his field goals were threes. And he also has four assists to go with his eight points. So the bench Bills has enjoyed a lead pretty much since the early parts of the first quarter. This could be their first road victory of the, well, I would say young basketball Champions League season, but we're almost half the way through in game day five. Obviously, both teams, uh, sorry, all the teams get to play each other home and away. And with four groups of eight, that means you're going to play seven different teams twice, so 14 games, which means you uh, every game is worth so much. You like to think the teams want to protect their home court when you have that advantage. So Gaziantep will look to bounce back in these next 20 minutes. Seven-point deficit is not anything too crazy to overcome. But they need to be better down the stretch in terms of execution on offense and then intensity on defense. So we'll see how it goes here. The third quarter getting underway now with Emmanuel Ubia initiating the offense. Takes a quick shot, and there's going to be a foul there on Mark Lyons on that jumper. So two early free throws in the third quarter for Ubia. So he knocks down the first. The second one could give him 10 points on the night. And he does just that. So you see the little 2 2 1 press here from Vince Spills. Looking to slow down Gazantep a little bit. And they retreat back to a man to man. Screening action frees up White. Balazic starting the third quarter. And catch and shoot for Vic Rudd. That's good. So a good start for him after a strong finish in the second quarter. Big run now with nine points to go. Sorry, 12 points with his nine rebounds. And here's Blake Hamilton. Oh, he responds with a nice little mid-range jump shot. So the first quarter, we saw some hot shooting. Here's Sean Armin. He can't hit it, but the nice chase down offensive rebound from Rowe, who spins baseline and gets the reverse layup. Smart play from Rudd as no one was there to contest. So Vic Rudd bringing the energy. Here's Skelly now drives to the basket. Nice little scoop and score off the high glass. See, he wanted the foul there. And Lyons looking to respond. And he throws it away as DJ White can catch it. Here comes Blake Hamilton. Dumps it off. The layup can be converted, but Ubila gets the put back. 
So again, turning defense into offense, and they now have a 10-point lead. So Vench Bills showing you the different ways they can score as multiple guys were running in transition. Here's a nice cut from Rudd. Pass fake, spin move, can finish. And the ball's gonna go out of bounds. Over to Vence Bills. His lines couldn't secure it. You see the nice spin there. Good defense from Scale. A little bit of contact on the elbow, no foul. And Lions kind of goes off him. That was clear. He's checking out the game. You can see he's a little bit frustrated. And that means that Erius gets his first chance to play tonight, number 27. The backup guard. A nice little move, and the reverse layup is up and good for Yusikas. And again, Vence Bills. They are intent on getting this road win tonight. Vic Rudd pulls up. He can't finish his scale of skies for the rebound. See, great balance on this Vench Bills team. Ubila creates a lot. The ball's in his hands. He's constantly dribbling. Good catch. No foul call. Yusikas. On the strong roll to the rim, Skele founds him, but they're not able to finish. The ball will stay here. You see a lot of contact on the arm there, as well as Rudd with the strip. So five seconds on the shot clock. Skele has to put it up, and he hits it as Erius was actually going for the foul. And Skele gets the basket instead. DJ White now on the block, has the size advantage, doesn't use it, so Rudd's gonna isolate. And the foul's gonna go on Hamilton on the reach. See there, the foul led to the ball going out of bounds. Balazic, he's been quiet tonight. No points yet. Comes in averaging double figures. Armand left open for three. Again in and out. We've seen that multiple times tonight. Nice pass to Rudd. Takes off for the jam. Oh my God, cocked it back. Nice pass from Armand. He throws it down with the one hand. Tomahawk. Get up, Vic Rudd. Can they use that momentum play? to cut into this deficit. Here's Ubiya, has a mismatch with DJ White. Oh, it puts him on skates. And able to hit the jumper. Ubiya playing one of his better games. Comes in averaging just nine points and shooting 30%. So he's been struggling. Tonight, however, 14 points already. And we still have a quarter and a half to play. Here's Blake Hamilton now. He wants to get to the lane. Oh, good hands from Edius. But Hamilton able to stick with it and gets the little runner. This game's getting a little bit out of hand now as the lead balloons up to 16 points. Ben Spills clicking on all cylinders. Armand, strong drive, kicks it out. DJ White taking the long three, got fouled. So three free throws to come for White. Yusikas has to be upset with himself more than anything. So he closed out, caught him on the fingertips. And how many times? Let's look at this dunk once again, though, from Vic Rudd. That will surely be in the top 10 of the week. So Lamas checks back in. But how many times have we seen the three-point shooter get fouled 
while being contested, even though White can't convert his first free throw. Players just unable to, con to close out without fouling. Second free throw is good. And now the Turkish fans making some noise, trying to urge their team on. So White goes two of three for the line. Oh, the lob. Oh, can't finish it. The lob to Zakis. Almost caught it with one hand. That's two missed dunks now for Zakis. But you see here the foul on Armand. Caught him on the kind of the side of the face is what it looks like. I don't know how much it affected the dunk. But two free throws to come here for Zakis. He hits the first. And the second as well. So Sean Armand, just two of nine so far, five points for the leading scorer. Coming into tonight's action. Chinko now has it on a 51. He pulls up for three. Again, back of the rim. None of these threes falling so far for uh, Gazintep in the second half. And Ubila has done such a good job just maintaining his ball control, keeping the defense almost on a string. And Eddie's fouls. Seems frustrated as Yun Ur Ut checks back in number 44. He gave them a nice little defensive pressure in the first half. Ubila, though, challenges him. Can't hit that three. Vic Rudd, another rebound, is 11th. Good ball movement, Rudd for three now. And they're taking a lot of threes without converting. Gazantep now just five of 22 in the three-point arc. And you see the battle inside between White and Lomash. Ubila was gonna get a rest. Gazantep Almost forced to bring out the press now. Causing a little bit of disruption, but now Shkele with a chance to run the offense. Gets to the lane, can't finish the reverse. Rudd, another rebound. Looking to go two on one. Oh, puts his arm down, and yep, that's an offensive foul. He lowered the shoulder and tried to bar barrel his way through to the basket. And you see the great defense there from Rusevitz. Takes it right in the chest. Offensive foul. And Rudd again commits a second foul in just a matter of seconds on Jakovic, which will be two free throws for Jakovic. Little bump knocks him down. So a timeout on the floors. The lead for Ventspils builds up to 18. Okay. I, we, we, we can feel 
Baba, I feel a 20 points again for them. I understand that, but... I don't want to fight uh, with you personal. Well, of course, 30 points, we lose from that. Yeah, but it's three minutes left in the whole quarter. We don't quit, Baba, we don't quit. We will play, fuck it. I don't quit. I will play, I can play, fuck it. Yeah, that's So you see there, Coach Deadass. As you take a look at the rebounding stats, trying to figure out whether or not it's time to throw in the towel. The player is saying there's a lot of time to play still and a chance to get back into this game. 13 minutes left, an 18-point deficit. You know, a couple of baskets, a couple of stops. You can get back into this game. We saw last night. And uh, I believe that was group... In Group D with uh, Medi Beirut and Movistar Estudiantes. Estudiantes, sorry, in Group C, had a 20-point lead throughout. And Medi Beirut climbed all the way back to tie it and send it to overtime. So not just in the Basketball Champions League, in basketball in general, you never know what can happen. Shots start falling on one end, and you get some stops on the other. You're right back into the game. So here's Balazic, kicks it out. And the ball went out of bounds there for Asieva. Three-point shot is good for Skele. And the lead is now at 21. So all the momentum in Ventspils' favor. You see the foul there on Jakovic. Smart play from Edeus to draw the foul. Gulbis checks back in. We haven't called his name much since the first quarter. Chinko, and an offensive foul on Balazic, looking to clear out space inside as he posted up against Skele. You see you there, around the block, Balazic didn't argue the call. And Skele with the drive. Nice finish again. And Gazantep started to point fingers defensively. And Skele carves them up. Is a drive, and Ut can't finish this time. Roosevelt can't collect the rebound, though, so the ball is going to stay over with Gajentep. 14 seconds on the shot clock. And Balazic catch and shoot three again, can't hit it. And good hustle there from Chinko. He couldn't save the ball from going out of bounds. Oh, Lomash wide open three. Of course, he knocks it in. And it's now a 26 point lead for Ventspils on the road in Gaziantep. I'm not sure we'll see too many of the starters back into the game, but 
see the difference there in three-point shooting. Gazantep just can't buy one. They'll try again this time, and again, can't finish. Asieva gets the rebound, and we'll get two free throws. They definitely need to keep making the hustle plays. Gulbis called for the foul this time. Couldn't get the box out. First free throw is good for Hasieva. Can't finish the second though. And Gulbis gets the rebound. Jakovic now. Happy to use some clock. We'll see the high screen from Brusevitz. Jakovic drives, little elbow. No, it's a nice little runner. Can't finish. Good rebound from Brusevitz. And he puts it in. So they're making all the plays now. And we're going to have, I believe, a technical foul on Gazantep as the frustrations are boiling over. Here, the disc discussion between the referees and the players. So we see there as the two guys were battling for the rebound, and Gulbis gets the technical free throw. And of course, the possession will go over now to Bench Bills for the last possession of the third quarter. Well, to reset the inbounds here. Some good ball pressure. Medius. Scale it, though, looking to isolate. Crosses over. Gets it to the lane. It's going to be two shots. Medius can't believe it. Thought he had a clean swipe at the ball. Scale already with 14 points. Looking to add to that total. You see there. The left hand got some of the ball, got some of the hand, I'm sure. So 15 now for Schele. So five seconds in the game clock. Oh, good foul here. So a chance for free throws for Gazintep. You see they're splitting the double team. And a silly foul in the backcourt from Gazantep with just three and a half seconds, which will lead to more free throws for Ventspils. They already have a 30-point lead and the chance to get a couple more free throws to add to that. So far away from the basket, just no need to put that much pressure defensively. The game clock so low. First free throw, no good from Schele. And what's unfortunate for the five guys on the court here for Gazintep is that not a single one of them has a field goal. Those five guys who ended the quarter were combined 0 for 11 from the field. So no production coming from the bench for Gazintep in this game. They have a total of five bench points while Bench Bills has 15. As you see the score line for the end of the third quarter, Bench Bills enjoying a comfortable 30-point lead, 71 to 41, over Gazintep, who are just struggling shooting the ball, both inside the arc beyond the perimeter as well as the free throw line. Meanwhile, Bench Bills, who comes in averaging 84% at the free throw line at 88 tonight, 
and just kind of doing damage all over the place. They've put together their best performance of, I would probably say, the entire Basketball Champions League history in their eyes. As we'll take a look at some of the highlights of that quarter. Vic Rudd, the lone bright spot for Gaziantep. He does have uh, 16 points and 12 rebounds. Obviously two highlight dunks. DJ White, the other player for Gaziantep in double figures with 10 points. No one else with more than five for guys in depth. And Mark Lyons and Sean Armand, the starting backcourt, combining just four of 16. You know, 25% overall, nine points. And they have six turnovers between them. So you saw, of course, that highlight dunk from Vic Rudd. But not much else to get too excited for if you're a Gaziantep fan. Every cute baby obviously enjoys basketball. So coach from Ventspils has to be pleased with his performance in the first 30 minutes. Chooses to keep uh, Ubila in the game as a starter. All bench players in the game right now for Gaziantep. Here's Chinko. Balazic thought about it. Uts will throw it up. He finally hits a three. He was 0 of 4 before that shot. Finally gets on the box score. And there's going to be a foul on the perimeter. Edius trying to put ball pressure on the, on the handler. See him reaching over a little bit. Gets caught with his arm in the cookie jar. Oh, the catch and shoot, no good this time from Yusikis. And Gazantep needs points in a hurry. Nothing to lose at this point. Ut throws it up again. Back to back threes. Yanur Ut. That's going to lead to a timeout for French Bills. Again, they don't want to take their foot off the pedal just too much. You best also make screen. Boy, big screen. Cut it. Watch easy layer. Boy, it's here. You see the leader so far for Bench Bill. Skele 16 points. Ubi got five assists. Yusik got seven rebounds. As Coach Delmao is getting into his team. Even with this much of a lead, you don't want to have any bad habits. Meanwhile, Gazantep, Vic Rudd doing a lot of the damage. There's Ubila looking for the mismatch of Brusevitz. Goes to work. Nice little spin move. Good ball movement. They need to get a shot out. Here's Gulbis. Can't handle it. Brusevitz now. The hook off the backboard. No good. And a chance to run here for Gaziantep.
Chinko pulls up for three again. That's now three in a row. All of a sudden, it's a 21 point game. Is it a matter of too little, too late in terms of heating up from the three point arc? They missed so many in quarters two and three. Oh, nice pick and roll. And Yusikis will head to the free throw line. Good find there from Ubila. So the foul's gonna go on Ut. Yusikis off the back rim, can't hit the first free throw. But he calmly knocks down the second to put her into a 9-0 run to start this fourth quarter for Gaziantep. Here's a catch and shoot. Edios can't hit it this time. Skelly gets the rebound. Shot clock all the way down to one. Oh, good defense that time from Freemanis. And it's a shot clock violation, the first one of the night on bench bills. So some better defense this time now from Gazintep. Obviously, bench bills not too worried about using up too much clock. That being said, they do have most of their starters in the game at the moment, aside from Blake Hamilton. And the three-pointer is good, but they're going to count it. So there was a foul as Yakovic trying to barrel through the screen. You see here, oh, well, never mind, it's Musikas kind of tries to run through Eriuts and Balazic hits the three. They keep possession and they get another two, so a five point possession that time for Gazintep, and it's now a 17 point game. So they're plus 13 already in the fourth quarter. A 14 to 1 run in the first two minutes and 48 seconds. Blake, with Ingus. Mike, with Julius. See the assist totals for both teams. Blake Hamilton going to come back to the game after getting a long rest. He probably thought his night was done with a 30 point lead, but they're going to need him to kind of. Cut back, you see Benchville's only five turnovers. So disciplined on offense, executing to perfection. So the bench going to stay in the game for Gazintep. They've done a great job getting them back into this, making the score line a little bit more respectable. See how Benchville chooses to play these next few minutes to respond to that, to that run. They get the ball inside. Yusikas draws a foul on Freemanis. See, kind of knocked them off balance with the forearm. Oh, nice double crossover, Blake Hamilton. Oh, no look pass. And Yusikas gets away with the offensive foul, but another shot clock violation. So yet another good defensive possession. You see the bench on their feet there. Oh, 
Oh, you see the, the, the referee telling him to get up. It was a near flop. They warned them that they will call technical foul on the next flop. Obviously, defensively, you don't want to overly exaggerate the contact. Oh, the nice get pass. Chinko had it for a moment, pump faked it. There's Freemanis now, and he draws a foul. So that's the third team foul on bench bills. Two more will send Gazin to the free throw line. And again, you never know what could happen these next few minutes. So much time left in this game. And the way that Gazintep's heating up from the three-point line. And playing better defense. Here we go again. And they hit another one. Janurut. His third three of the quarter. Gets the lead down to 14. Brusevitz drives, a little out of control, but he's gonna get two free throws. Gazantep is not happy with that particular call. We'll see here, Brusevitz a little out of control. And Chinko didn't have his feet set. Trying to draw that charge. But Brusevitz can't hit the first free throw, so might not be the worst foul after all. Hits the second. So the lead goes back out to 15. Just under six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Oh, the handoff, Uth again. Another three-point shot is good. Make that four. These are all uncontested. Where is the Vengeville's defense? There's Ubila, the elbow jumper. In and out, but the tip-in is good from Brusevitz, who just threw Edius out of the way for that rebound. Oh, nice find inside the pump fake, Edius. Smart veteran play that time. And this bench has definitely picked up their play. Oh, Ubila crosses over. Blake Hamilton, the three. Oh, that might be the dagger. Big shot from Blake Hamilton. He is six of seven for 16 points. An efficient night for the rookie. Freeman has a little bit of trouble. Kicks it out. Edius now finds Chinko for three. Another one. Wow. Gazintep on fire in this fourth quarter. They now have 12 made threes. Blake Hamilton looking to respond. Another back and forth three-point shot. Blake Hamilton hitting back-to-back -back threes to silence the crowd. And there's going to be a foul as well in the rebound here as Gulbis kind of threw himself down and brought Balazic with him. So Gulbis able to draw the foul. It's going to be two free throws. So he can't hit the first. It would have been a potential five point possession for Bench Bills. There's Chinko, another three. 
And it's becoming a sh target practice here. To, as they've hit eight threes in the fourth quarter already. That gives them 28 points in just over six minutes. And Blake Hamilton, can he get another one? Of course he can. Blake Hamilton, ladies and gentlemen, remember the name. Three threes in a row, the last three possessions for Revenge Spills. Just when the game's looking to come back into favor for Gazintep. So that was a foul to give from Blake Hamilton off the ball. You see they get tangled up with their arms. But how about Gazintep? 13 for 34 from the three. Meanwhile, Vince Pills 11 of 18. Blake Hamilton a perfect three of three. Oh, the turnover. Here comes Skelly. Throws the lob. Blake Hamilton decides to just catch it and lay it in. And Blake Hamilton now with what's that? 22, 24 points on 9 of 10 shooting. Yanur Uts can't get that one to fall. They get the offensive rebound. Freemanis kicks it out. Uth again. Can't hit it again. And here's Blake Hamilton. Another rebound. He's going to get two free throws to add to his point total. See him skying for that rebound. Three guys in white looking to strip it away, but Hamilton able to keep it strong. First free throw is good for Hamilton. He's only missed one shot from anywhere on the floor tonight. It's 9 of 10 from the field overall. Three of those are three-point shots, which he's perfect for. And if he converts this one, he'll be 5 of 5 from the free throw line. And he does just that. No turnovers, three rebounds, one steal, one assist. Very efficient night. Oh, nice still and behind the back pass from Brusevitz. Here's Skele. And he'll head to the free throw line for two more shots. And we're seeing, obviously, all the frustrations, trash talking going on there. Eddie is a fiery character, to say the least. And here comes DJ White after a long break. The bench getting a lot of minutes for Gazintep as the lead kind of got out of control in that third quarter. Ben Spills having a 33 to 10 advantage then. Gazintep though, you see, you see the resiliency, able to fight back a little bit. Scored 28 points so far in the fourth. Unfortunately, they haven't been able to put together enough stops as Ben Spills already with 91. So Ut able to knock down the first free throw. So Ut, very productive game for him. He's got 14 points. And obviously Vengeville's just content to use up as much clock as possible in each possession. Here's Yakovic. Step back three. Oh, he hits it. The icing on the cake for him. 
So many threes this game. 26 combined for both teams. Yakovic now with eight points. Here's Chinko taking his time. And more free throws to come for Ut. See, just a little bit too close. So a few of the bench players will be coming to the game. Edius receiving a nice little applause for his intensity. The captain, just two points, but he did have four rebounds and four assists. So getting his first action of the night is number 35, Hepgood, and number 14, Sungud as well. Meanwhile, Oates going to finish the game with 16 points. So a 21-point advantage, and obviously Gazantep has to keep in mind that point differential does matter. As Jakovic takes another three-point shot, they're looking to get 100. Oh, the pull-up from Chinko, a little strong. Zakis unable to collect the defensive rebound, so the possession will stay with Gazintep. Just eight seconds on the shot clock, though, since the ball did not hit the rim. And there's going to be another substitution as Yusika checks back in for Zakis. Near turnover, but Chinko drives and can't finish at the rim, but we'll get two free throws. You see Gulbis. Can't believe he got called for that foul, but two free throws to come for Chinko. In and out on the first, and that's kind of representative of, of how the night has gone for Gazintep. Again, they're down 20 plus points at home. So 40 seconds to play. Jakovic. Again, using up as much clock as possible. And another foul, some more free throws and a chance for Ventspils to get even closer to that century mark. Obviously, both of these teams will be back in action. Next week, Ventspils will be back at home in Latvia, hosting Capodorlando, the last place team in the group. They are 0 and 5 so far. Meanwhile, Gazintep will be heading over to uh, Germany to play MHP Ryzen Ludwigsburg. And that's going to be a great matchup for sure. Ludwigsburg currently 3 and 1, still have a chance to play tonight to get their fourth win. So. Gazintep is going to dribble out the clock here, take this loss on the chin. Probably take a long shot here as Utz hits the rim, and that's going to be the last shot of the game. Oh, never mind. Lomash takes a three. And they did call the foul. That is unreal. Gazintep fouling a shooter down 25 at the buzzer. So three more free throws to come. And Ventspils will now get a chance to get 100 points. 
So the referee is just kind of sorting out the situation. Obviously, the game has not officially ended. They'll see how much time is left on the clock when that foul was called. So a tough night here in southeastern Turkey for the host team Gaziantep. And this is why referees' jobs are so tough. We'll take a look at the replay here. Point. Well, first of all, it doesn't seem to be much contact. It looked like Ut kind of missed the ball, missed it. <laughs> Not much contact at all. And they're going to wave it off, I believe. So no foul called in the end. It happened after the buzzer sounded. So the referees ending the game on that note. And the final score, Vengepils 99, Gaziantep 74. A bit of an awkward finish. Obviously a little bit anticlimactic, but Vengepils with a performance for the ages, dominating from beginning to end, built this nice little lead in the first quarter, didn't look back. Gaziantep gave them a run for their money near the end of the game in the fourth quarter, but the lead was pretty much always safe, staying in double figures, Obviously, they were up 30 at one point. Gaziantep did get 38 points from their bench, mostly in the second half in garbage time. But Vengepils, a big win on the road. They dominated the glass, 38 rebounds. They knocked down 13, sorry, 12, three, so 13 three-point shots each. Although Vengepils was 13 for 20, 65%. Unbelievable shooting. You see it right there on your screens. Also got to the free throw line, so an all-around balanced performance for Vench Bills. Gaziantep, a lot of their stats look maybe a little bit amplified because of garbage time and the defense from Vench Bills kind of tailored off in terms of intensity. But they definitely took care of the ball, just seven turnovers. A phenomenal performance for Vench Bills, the team from Latvia, dominating the domestic league as we see the leaders. Ham Blake Hamilton, 26 points. Vic Rudd doing a lot of his damage in limited minutes, 16 points, 12 rebounds, played just 20 minutes. Is Gaziantep going to save them for the weekend? And you see there the double-figure scores for both teams. So it's been an interesting game, to say the least. Vench Bills really trying to climb up the charts here in Group B. We take a look at the standings right now. Vench Bills will sit in second place while Tenerife and Lubitsburg obviously still have a game to play between. And meanwhile, Pauk will also have a game with uh, Shalon. So a lot of action. So Pauk Tenerife today, as well as Shalon and Lubitsburg. But Ventspils, the team from Latvia to be reckoned with. We'll leave you with some highlights. Thank you for watching this game day five action in the Group B of the Basketball Champions League. You know that we'll be back with more games on livebasketball.tv tonight as well as plenty of games next week in the Basketball Champions League. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the highlights. Make sure you catch the rest on YouTube. Thank <laughs> you.